No matter who you are, I believe your mood during the weekend will be somewhat like this. Oh, goody, happy Friday, oh, gorgeous. And then we go on to Saturday. Oh, gorgeous, the first day of the holiday. And then we go on to Sunday. Everything seems fine. Until at night. At night, when we see the day on the calendar, our palms start sweating, our legs start trembling, our hearts start pumping fast. This is actually a kind of anxiety known as Monday blues. Then you ask, is there any way to overcome this and other types of anxiety? Well, first, we will need to understand how anxiety works here. Now, let's take this bread as my brain. As I see Monday in this calendar, this information is transported from my eyes through the nerves to the center of the brain, where the amygdala lies. Amygdala is an almond-shaped emotion center, which makes us feel happy, sad, or fear, or so on. And when it senses that it is something to be feared, it will ask its neighbor, the hypothalamus, just next to it, to make, and also the control center, to make, uh, to make an order of secreting stress hormones, such as adrenaline and cortisol. It's these types of stress hormones that make us sweaty palms, trembling legs, and so on. And that's basically how anxiety works. So, is there any way to overcome this? Well, <gasps> deep breath helps, but just temporarily, okay? How about in the long term? In the long term, what I would suggest would be trying to associate a happy, powerful memory with the anxiety source. If you're anxious about your Monday, then try to plan a party, regular party on Monday instead of Friday. Or if you're anxious about your examination, try to plan a trip right after every examination. The idea is to make the amygdala trigger a, trigger a happy response instead of a free response, known as brain reconditioning. Scientists previously conducted an experiment on a group of participants by giving them money when they show traces of fear responses of a certain fear. And at the end, they find that their fear responses really reduces with a positive stimulus. So that's basically how this method works. Last but not least, I must say, I'm a little bit anxious with a stage fright, okay? So what I would need would be a strong, happy memory to overcome this. So may I invite all of you to give me a wave of big applause to help me overcome this anxiety. Thank you.